Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is a daily hypnosis session. Now, I'm always trying out new things and because at the moment I don't have a laptop, um, which means I can't do the editing and making the, the video and then recording it audio separate. So I'm using the iPhone, which is what I did yesterday, last night. And I'm trying to do a way so that the volume is loud enough. So what I've done, I don't know if you can see this, I've kind of, I've not taped it, but I've tried to connect the microphone closer to my mouth. So Sam's just come on and said, hi. Uh, hi, Sam. Can you hear me okay? Is the sound quality okay? And that's my main concern. I know the, the picture generally should be all right. There's only, there's only so much you can do with this face, but you know the lighting seems all right, uh, and the, the sound is cool. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Sam. So I've been. I figure if I'm going to make a video for live, you know, for uh, daily hypnosis, which I'm trying to do every day, I may as well just produce it live. The only issue is a possibility the internet connection may cut out, which means it will be lost. Uh, it's a gamble. I'm not using the internet for anything else right now, so hopefully it should be fine. It was okay yesterday. It was okay earlier when I did a live broadcast on Facebook. So hopefully this should be good. It should be sufficient. So I'm just going to, of course, say hi to Sam at the moment. It's only Sam watching, but I know that there will be more people watching later, you know, maybe later tonight, tomorrow, maybe in a few years' time even. So this video, um, I know there's more than just what's being seen live. And the point behind these videos, these live, the daily hypnosis sessions, is to have that continuous sessions is to have that continuous focus on well-being. Um, probably more emotional than physical, but then when the emotional well-being is increased the physical well-being also is positively affected. The same as if you physically feel well, it can have uh, an effect on how you emotionally feel. I know it's not always the way. I know, obviously, we all have times when we're physically perhaps unwell, but emotionally fine. I have that sometimes when I have a cold and I'll actually be in good spirits emotionally but you know I'll just be I have a cold you know my, my body will be uh, getting rid of all the muck that is needed to be got rid of through the process of a cold. So I'm not trying to fight against science or biology. But it is about this continuous journey that we're going on together. Not just me and you, but me, you, and you, and you, and as a collective. And we're all kind of sharing the same space and even if you are listening or watching this at a different time to someone else that may be in Canada 
or Australia or America or in, uh, I don't know, Scotland or, you know, wherever in the world, India, Africa, you're still, there's still an energy there. And I, I'm, I don't mean that in a esoteric, um, not even in a spiritual way, just just feel, in a feeling, just a feeling way. So, as I try to always say, before you listen or watch any of my videos, or listen to any of the audios, of which there are hundreds and hundreds available to download on my website, jasonnewland.com, all the videos are available to download as well. And there's about 450 videos on YouTube as well, I think. So before you watch or listen to anything, please only do so when you can safely close your eyes. It's very important because your safety is the most important thing above anything else. It's the number one thing is to make sure that you're comfortable, that you're safe and that you're feeling it, I guess, that you're in the right space to do this, to listen to me, to listen to my voice, to follow my words, and that's what this is about. It's about you, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching, you know, tomorrow. So right now it's about quarter to one in the morning on Wednesday the 24th or whatever day it is, you might be watching this on Friday. Whenever it is, it doesn't matter because even if you want to watch it the day after the last session, before the next session, it doesn't have to be in that order can be however you want it to be. You can enjoy the moment in whatever way you choose. So I only watch or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And before you go any further, even if it means, I know you can't pause it if it's live, um, but get yourself comfortable. If it means taking the laptop or the, the phone or the tablet into your bedroom, laying down on a bed or sitting in a comfortable chair, make sure the chair is not just supporting your body but also will support you if you were to fall asleep for example. So your body is supported and not want to fall off or anything like that. So it's just good. And maybe you want to lay on the floor. And there's another thing that's really important to remember, that you're not a statue. You don't have to stay in the same position throughout the whole of this session, this recording, this video. If you need to move, move. Comfort is number one. Comfort and safety, two things are number one. Your safety and your comfort. So there is no rules, there is no, there's no way to fail at this. There's only things to gain. And even the worst case scenario is you feel more relaxed. That's the worst case scenario. It's not a bad side effect for listening to a, a beardy Englishman on YouTube or Facebook, because I will share this on Facebook as well. So during this session, I will be indulging in a can of Coca-Cola because I just realized I didn't didn't get any water to drink, so I'm going to have to drink this. 
otherwise I'm going to have to go into the kitchen and that's not really ideal for a live session. Because throat, the throat, my throat, gets a bit dry sometimes, you know, when I'm talking and talking and talking and talking, which is what I do. So I think sometimes it's a good idea before going any further to get in touch with how you feel. It doesn't have to be physically, it doesn't have to be emotionally. It can be however you want it to be. So, for example, maybe for this session we can get in touch with a feeling, the feeling you've got right now. Not the feeling you had an hour ago, not the feeling you had even 10 minutes ago before this started. Maybe just the feeling that you have right now. Maybe it's emotional, maybe it's physical. If you're looking at the video, it might be annoyance at just how amazing my beard is or how ridiculously unkempt my beard is, whichever way you look at it. You might think that maybe you might not feel as comfortable as you'd like to. You may feel more comfortable than you thought you would. If you're from a different country to me, you may maybe not have ever heard my voice before and be thinking, what kind of accent is that? You may think, you may wonder, do, do all people from England talk with that accent? Which is no, if they don't. But sometimes there's no way of knowing that. Unless you actually visit a country, I guess, to realise that there's all these different accents. Do all the men in England have beards? Well, no. In November, sometimes it's a yes, because there's a, a charity thing that has grown over the years where a lot of men grow a beard throughout the whole of November. They call it Movember, which is more for a moustache than a beard, but it ends up being a big uh, like charity to see who could, who could be, grow the biggest beard. So I kind of fit in one, one month in the year. I actually once had someone ask me if I was growing my beard for charity, or as a bet. You know, I've, I thought they were being rude but it turned out they weren't. They were just genuinely thinking it might be a charity thing. So the idea, as I said, is to get in touch with that feeling that you have. Even if it's just a feeling of, why do I keep talking? Why am I just talking and talking and talking? But there is a reason for this. Because if I just sat here and said nothing, there wouldn't be a lot of point. Although I could test it out, sit here one day and make a, a video and maybe just meditate with you without saying anything. And getting the feedback from how you feel, what affects you feel. 
sharing that space and that energy of meditation with other people from all around the world. Because at the moment, I may not have a huge audience with this YouTube channel right now, but I have a wide audience all together, you know, with the website and the various different places that people watch or listen to my stuff. So you will be joining a, a little a group that's very expansive, it's very wide. It's only about 10 people, but it's very spread out 10 people. So recently I've been focusing on safety. Focusing on your safety, that sense of really feeling at peace with yourself, feeling that you're okay. You know that sense that, I like that idea, I like that feeling of I suppose some would call it optimism, but not based on kind of any, necessarily any reality, but based on a belief, a strong belief that actually you are going to be okay. That belief that things are going to work out for you. And it doesn't have to be based on any kind of knowledge, any kind of experience, any kind of factual information, based on belief. Just, and it could be, it doesn't even have, have to be a focused belief, it could be a general belief that you will be okay. And that's something that I like that idea. I think it's an idea worth trying. It's worth testing. Just as if it was a jacket, you could just try it on, see how it fits, see how comfortable you feel whilst wearing that jacket that belief that things are going to be okay for you. The future is going to be a happy place for you to live, to flourish, to be able to express yourself in a way that you feel is right for you and only you. That feeling of certainty without any kind of facts to back it up. Just a, a certainty in the same way that you're certain that There'll be sunlight tomorrow. You go to bed at night, you wake up, and regardless of what time of the year it is, there will be, there'll be sunlight. You might not see any sun shining, but there will be light outside. And you're certain of that, and you believe that to be the case, without questioning it, without needing to think why, to work out why, or to question why, or to question what if, what if it didn't happen, or why couldn't it happen, or why does it happen. But just allowing that sense of just knowing, believing in yourself, the way you believe that tomorrow when you get out of bed, if it's daytime, there'll be light outside. 
at some point during the day. Of course, in the winter, there's less light, there's less daylight than during the summer. But you know what I'm saying. At some point during the day, there will be light outside. And the same, you know that at some point over the next 12 months, it's going to rain outside. At some time over the next 12 months, it's going to be windy outside. Sometime over the next 12 months, the trees, the leaves on the trees are going to fall off the trees, you know. You know that these things are going to happen. You don't need to question them. You just believe and trust in that natural phenomenon that happens easily and regularly without you needing to do anything. It just happens, it's nature. And if you put that same thought about your future, that future, the belief that things are gonna work out, things are going to be okay in the same place as, it's gonna be light outside during the day tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. At some point, you're gonna feel hungry. At some point, you're gonna to need to go to the toilet. At some point, you're gonna feel thirsty. Standard things that you just accept are gonna happen. You don't need to think about them. It just happens, your body lets you know when these things are required. Your body lets you know when you need to drink some water or have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or when you need to eat some food. Your body lets you know these things without any kind of thinking really involved in the process. So it's a belief there, but a belief that's just there without any conscious effort. There's no philosophical discussions required for these beliefs, such as your future is going to be okay. You are going to be okay. You have so much happiness ahead of you because you deserve to be happy. You deserve to enjoy your future and you deserve to look forward to that happiness without questioning it. So this isn't a self-affirmation, although self-affirmations are amazing things. This is a factual thing. This is something that doesn't need questioning, doesn't need discussion. You don't need to discuss whether or not at some point it's going to rain. Of course it's going to rain at some point. At some point in the world it's going to snow over the next 12 months, somewhere. You'd never question that. You know it's fact, it's going to happen. So you don't need to think about it, it's just, there's that safety, feeling safe in the factual experience of really being aware of what is without any need to question what is going to happen and the fact that you are going to be okay and you have a wonderful life ahead of you. 
in whatever way that presents itself. And then that opens up the possibilities of other thoughts, feelings, beliefs, useful thoughts, feelings and beliefs that can also become part of that. Things like feeling safe, And I never get bored with talking about safety, the feeling of safety. Because it's so important, that sense of feeling safe can never be mentioned enough. And I will keep mentioning it forever and ever and ever. Reminding you and reminding me that feeling of safety is our birthright to feel safe. To not allow anybody ever to take that away from us. That sense of safety and security that we have within us. a sense of optimism towards the future can be connected to that safety. Moving forward in your life with a sense of creativity, opening up that creativity to build your life. to make that path going forwards and to build whatever it is that you wish to experience more of in the future. And that safety is inbuilt within that to so every step forward is a step of safety a step of feeling safe. Feeling. Really feeling that sense that you deserve to feel safe. You deserve to be happy and to experience that sensation of safe happiness. You've earned that right now. You can experience more of those feelings because the more we mention, the more I mention, the more you hear me say the words safe, safety, feeling more safe every step you take forward into the future that you build for yourself, that you create your own future happiness. You can reinforce that sense of who you are as a person, being yourself being true to yourself. Not trying to live your life to please others that may not have your best intentions in mind. Realizing that you're the person that needs to take control of your best intentions. That way, your best intentions will always be at the forefront of your journey forward towards the life of happiness that you deserve to enjoy 
experiencing more of these feelings of comfort and well-being and confidence in your own ability to actually believe in yourself on a much deeper level, a much, much deeper sense of safety and comfort. Building those foundations, not just forward, but sideways, so that that foundation is so strong, becoming stronger and stronger with every second. So that as you build your future, it's built on a foundation of love, self-love, confidence, safety and kindness directed towards you, allowing you to feel gratitude towards every part of you. Gratitude you can feel towards the different parts of your body, your limbs, your brain, your eyes, your heart, all your major organs. You can feel gratitude towards all of your body for taking care of you, for loving you, and you can love yourself in return. Showing yourself that kindness, sometimes by doing simple things, by just thinking it. Just getting in touch with that sense of appreciation towards yourself. It's sometimes enough for you to feel amazing. you can really enjoy being yourself. You can enjoy experiencing your own being. And you can enjoy planning a future of happiness. Maybe you can just enjoy the feeling of enjoying. Knowing that that belief that everything will be okay grows stronger every day. As you realize that these are just thoughts, and thoughts affect future thoughts, and thoughts affect our lives, they affect how we feel. And we all know that anyway. No one needs to be told that how we think affects how we feel. We all know that. So therefore, when you start thinking about your future, the future that you are going to build for yourself, starting in your mind, because all creations, all inventions start as a thought. Every bridge building, Every invention has always started as a thought, including the phone that I'm recording this video on. And as you think about those things that you'd like to achieve and to experience in your future, 
you can enjoy experiencing those thoughts and starting to plan, feeling okay, feeling safe, feeling happy. And I'm going to bring this to an end because Andre's come in and he's making a little bit of a little bit of sound there. I half expect him to start scratching at something. So I'll count from one to three. One, two, and you know, you can stay as, you can fall asleep if you want, you can wake up and carry on with the rest of your day. You can just do whatever you want to do. It's up to you. What will stay with you is these words that I've said. The idea of planning your own future. The ideas of safety, feeling safe, deserving to feel safe. Now. And you can experience those physical sensations that accompany those thoughts of safety and happiness. Now, I'm going to say three in a second. I want to say three. You can become more aware and you can notice the background sound of Andre the Ferret rummaging around in his big plastic tube playing. I think he uses it as a scratch tool as well so he can scratch his back. Three. And that's the end of today's daily hypnosis session. There will be another one tomorrow. And if you open your eyes, I'll give you a little treat and you can see Andre. This is Andre the ferret. He's got his little tongue out as well, look. So he's quite happy. He's a happy little boy today. Don't you? Yeah, he's a happy little boy. So I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, please like this if you do like it. I haven't really had many people watch it live today. Oops. But that's more a case of I don't um, come on here at a specific time. If I did, then that would be a bit easier for people to know when to listen. But that might happen. But right now, it will be uploaded for anyone who wants to watch it. And I will share it on Facebook. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Say goodbye, Andre. <laughs> he doesn't want to. Okay, I'm going to press the button. <laughs>